This is Kristen Peake with Rivals.com, here with five-star Trendon Wadford. We're at the McDonald's All-American Week, getting ready for the big game. Trendon, first, how does it feel to be a McDonald's All-American? Oh, it feels good, just being down here with all the great guys in my class. And, um, you know, it's a dream come true to play this game, so it feels good. Uh, let me ask you this. Who is your favorite? Do you have a favorite player who's been a past McDonald's All-American that's maybe in the pros now? Or yeah, who used Kevin to be? Durant. Kevin yeah. Durant. I watched, his, I watched his game when he played. and uh, I think he got MVP that game. But, uh, yeah, that's that one of my favorite players. Uh. So you try to model your game a little bit after Kevin Durant? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I watch him. I watch Paul George and uh, a few others. But, yeah. Okay, so your high school career is coming to an end now. What are some of the highlights throughout your high school career? I mean, I know this has got to be one of them, but what are some other ones? Uh, this, uh, Jordan Brand gets selected for that. Also, uh, winning three state championships back to back to back. That was definitely one of my biggest accomplishments. And um, Gator, winning Gatorade Player of the Year, I could say. Yeah. yeah, very nice. Those are all, anyone would die to have one of those. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and on the recruitment front, we have lots to talk about. You're still uncommitted. There's been some coaching changes. Most recently, Avery Johnson is out at Alabama. Where do you stand with that program, and have you heard from them? Uh, I hadn't heard from him yet, but um, I'm pretty sure he'll call me in the next few days and uh, just you know just tell me he appreciate me and um, but yeah you know he uh, that's unfortunate but um, you know I'm just looking forward you know whoever the next coach is you know if he gets in next week or so and uh, you know just eventually start recruiting me and uh, with my other school so yeah so they're still in the mix then yeah for sure yeah yeah and LSU kind of similar situation with Will Wade where do things stand with them uh. I waited out, you know, I hadn't, I'm not deciding until, you know, possibly Jordan Brand game. So, you know, whatever happens in the next few months, what will happen in the next month or so, you know, that'll be my final decision. And, um, you know, I have decided then, so. I know Duke has kind of come on the radar late. You want to get there for a visit. I know they're in the tournament. They just had a crazy game at UCF. What's been the conversation like with that program? Oh, uh, they've been in contact with me a lot. Coach Nate James, Coach K, uh, you know, they've been back and forth contacting me and my dad and, um, you know, just telling me they like my game. And, uh, you know, they see and I, they saw I hadn't decided yet. So they was just like, you know, why not? Why not hop on? And then, you know, just go from there. I imagine Wendell and Vern are going to be yeah. talking to you. Later. Yeah, for sure. I played with Vernon and um, I played with Vernon. I played with Wendell, you know, throughout camps and stuff. So Vernon's actually on my team now. So and he's my roommate. So. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Fans will like that. Okay, I talked to James Wiseman earlier this week after he won the National Gatorade Player of the Year award, um, and he said that he really wanted you to come to Memphis and join him. How are you feeling about Memphis? Where do they stand? Oh, uh, they definitely, you know, a great program. They stand, you know, at, you know, at the top of my recruitment because you know I, I have a close relationship with Coach Mike Miller and uh, Coach Penny, mm -hmm. and um, just being, you know, being around James a lot, being around some of the other commitments they have, and. Uh, you know, I've enjoyed I've I've played with James before, and I enjoyed it. So, you know, I felt like we were pretty good together. Indiana, kind of the last school with Trace Jackson Davis, another five-star, and then Armand Franklin. Where do they stand, and what's the conversation been like there? Oh, the conversation's been good. You know, they, Coach Archie's been reaching out to me, you know, lately. And, um, you know, I've played with Trace, you know, just a few eight camps and stuff, and uh, he's been talking to me about it, you know, here. So. All right, so Jordan Brand is kind of a decision date somewhere around there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think I'll be deciding there. I think that's why I'll be deciding there. You're going to get to Duke. Are you done with visits after that? Oh, yeah, I'm done with it after that, after that, yeah. Okay, and what's going to be the most important factor making your decision? Uh, you know, just eventually who I can sit down and trust. And, uh, you know, give me better on and off the court. You know, me and my brother, we do our homework on each and every program. And, um, you know, I just feel like, you know, he's – He's been, you know, a big factor in my recruitment because, you know, he's been through it. So I just, you know, lean on him for a lot of it. And, um, you know, we we'll eventually come up to a decision. One last fun question. Games Wednesday night. Who are you most looking forward to matching up with and going head to head? Uh, Probably going head to head with. I probably have to say. Trying to figure out who's on what team. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who's on what team. Uh. <laughs> Probably Isaiah Mobley. I haven't played against him in a long time since like ninth grade. So uh, probably him. Probably yeah. him. Yeah, probably him. That'll be a fun matchup. Yeah. Just to recap, everyone, LSU and Alabama are still in it for Trenton Wadford, and he's going to decide around Jordan Brand, correct? No, correct, correct. All right, thank you so much for the time. Congratulations again. You guys can catch uh, Trenton and all the other McDonald's All American players Wednesday night on ESPN.